Navajo Nation President Russell Begay tells KOAT he is practicing the motto, you want something done right, do it yourself. I'm standing there, I'm taking photos, I'm we're taking videos. Begay says the Environmental Protection Agency wasn't being honest with him. So he went to the mine and posted this video and these photos to show the world what was really there. They told us one thing it wasn't. And they, and they told us it was, it was a couple of metal product, chemical product, and it's, and it's more. Officials say the spill is around 3 million gallons. Clearly, it's much more than that. The gay says after his disturbing visit, he was informing a key EPA official on what was really going on. He said to me that I was told it was clearing up. And I so immediately grabbed our phone, and I, we showed him and said, look, See for yourself, we just took this minutes ago up there, the base of the mountain, and it's yellow. The Navajo Nation leader now questions, he says, everything the EPA is telling him. I myself, having seen it, having stood there, having seen it with my own eyes, and having stepped in it accidentally, all of that, I, it's, it's indisputable that what we received was inaccurate. In between figuring out the impact of this spill, his people wait. He says it's growing season for beans, corn, and squash, and people need clean water, and livestock need it too. Bacay says two-thirds of the river run through the Navajo Nation. Now, the EPA said initially they were cautious when updating the public about this spill. We tried to ask the EPA today, we tried to ask officials about the Navajo Nation president's allegations of dishonesty, but the EPA officials cut off reporter questions before we could ask them about that. Back to you.